issued the uh, original conviction when Bowser Safe was still president um, deserve uh, applause for their courage, uh, their fortitude, and their independence. Um, this is a huge victory uh, for Bowser Say's uh, victims who never gave up fighting. Uh, it's also a huge victory for all those around the world uh, who are fighting to hold powerful abusers uh, to account. Uh, today's decision is another reminder that uh, the that accountability for the worst human rights crimes has no expiration date. Uh, this is a proud day uh, for Suriname. Uh, it's a proud day uh, for the judiciary. It's a proud day for the rule of law. You have experience with um, bringing dictators to justice, as it as it says. But um, this was quite long. Is this is this common? Well, we've seen around the world uh, the Khmer Rouge were prosecuted uh, decades uh, after their crimes uh, uh, in, 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 in country after country. Unfortunately, we find that political interference, um, uh, uh, political um, uh, attacks on justice, uh, the same kinds of things that the court spoke about here, delay, uh, insufficient uh, independence often. Um, often makes it very the struggle for justice very long. What is amazing in this case and in so many other cases around the world is that family members, uh, surviving victims, uh, don't give up, uh, and and that has been a powerful motor motor around the world for justice. Um, and I think that that other victims uh, of abuse around the world are going to look at this case. And they say, you see, just like they did uh, for Pinochet 25 years later, just like they did for the Khmer Rouge uh, 30 years later, um, Boucher says victims fought for 41 years. They never gave up. And maybe we can do that too. So patience does pay. Patience, um, uh, but active patience. Uh, let's remember that in this case, the statute of limitations was about to expire in 2000, and it was only because the victims' families filed a case uh, that the statute of limitations was stopped and that this case could move forward. And really, my, my, my admiration, my congratulations um, to the family members uh, who never gave up and who fought um, to see this day and are now rewarded uh, by seeing justice done. What does this case say about the democracy of Sudan? I think it speaks wonders about this. I mean, the fact that um, I, I, I'm, I'm in such admiration for the fact that in the first instance, uh, when the Kreichsrat um, uh, uh, convicted Boucher, he was actually the president. Um, that doesn't happen in, in almost any other country. In the United States, the president has immunity when he's in office. In most countries, the pres a sitting president has immunity. Here, the judges um, throughout this process, throughout all the delays, throughout all of the interference, um, showed that they can that, that they, they wear the mantle of judicial independence very proudly. And I think it says a lot about Surinamese democracy, a lot about the rule of law. It says that nobody um, is above uh, the law, no matter how powerful you are. It's a powerful. Uh, uh, it puts Suriname, Suriname really on the map of judicial uh, 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 integrity and, and of the rule of law. The fact that Boltus has said uh, during his meeting uh, Saturday, 16th of December, that it was a political process, so that does not withstand then. Yeah, I, I listened to the judges today. I've read the judgments uh, uh, in the courts below. Uh, it seems uh, that the evidence uh, was very, very strong. Um, uh, it would have been political not to prosecute uh, someone uh, who is alleged uh, to have committed these kinds of crimes. Um, obviously, it took uh, uh, what was political is how long it took. Um, uh, but the fact is that the judges deliberated and, and as far as I can tell, um, rendered a judgment based on the facts and based on the law. Mr. Bautista, Bautista chose not 